have it? Um, okay. So this is just replay it and do all of that. I kind of have my list of things over here so that I can stay focused. It took us a minute to try to get the lighting right, so I, I don't really know how to do the lighting and stuff like that, so forgive us. But why am I doing this? That's the first thing. Um, I am doing this because as a mindset coach, a big part of what I have um, worked on over the last couple of years is really getting people in the mindset of attaining their goals or creating the life that they want or manifesting or whatever that end goal is. Um, it's a mindset that is required to make that happen. And so a big part of this quarantine on Friday, I was sitting, you know, with my kids and it was just like, you need to do a mindset, you know, exercise on this. So I'm going to try to make it fast, which is why fast but slow. You know what I mean? So that uh, you can, you guys can get it. Who am I? I am Miss Sheila Little, licensed master of social work, a clinical therapist. I have, um, I'm a director of a nonprofit, Shaping Solutions Leadership Training Development Incorporated. And that's our B2B business. That's where we work with uh, other businesses to help them uh, with leadership, training, and development of their staff. Um, and then, I have a company LLC, which is our B2B, our B2C, which is Shaping Solutions. And that's where I work with individuals to create a mindset, skill sets and actions. And I coin these uh, individuals that we work with in our B2B and our B2C uh, companies, Lemons. And these are individuals who lack the energy, motivation, organizational skills, necessary supports, and they just ultimately feel stuck in their job or in their position or how to, you know, get promoted or just in their life, how to attain the goals, how to get the relationships that they want. And so, oh, uh, what am I doing, right? I am going to do a framework. And so, as you see in the title, this is called, it's time to call the cab. So I'm going to write that down. It's time to call a CAB. And CAB is an acronym. So anybody who works with me understands that I use acronyms a lot. Uh, just for your reference, we are all intelligent beings and we have different intelligences. And um, so we can speak from a very logical and you know receptive way. But most people understand at a third grade level, and that's due to what we call our emotions. And so our emotions allow us to hear some things that may not be said, but due to trauma, due to experiences in our life, we read or we code information in a way that may not serve that situation right. And so most people understand at a third grade level. So I use acronyms. And so the acronym CAB, it's time to call it CAB. I want you guys to use this. And when can I use this? You can use this whenever. Whenever you need clarity. So that's what the C is. So whenever you need clarity about your where you're at and where you want to be. Right? So that is what CAB stands for. It's time to call the CAB when you feel stuck. When you lack the energy, motivation, uh, organizational skills, necessary supports, and you just feel stuck, and it's like, you know what, I can't get there, I need to call a clap, cab, so I need to get some clarity about where I'm at and where I want to be, and we're going to use this one today, though, for COVID, right, because this whole experience with, uh, with what is happening in the world as this pandemic is really bringing up a fragrance, it's bringing up this kind of Fear is bringing up a lot of things. And we'll talk about that once we get into to, uh, our strategy side. So we're going to talk about where we're at. <clears throat> but we use this, and I use this with all my clients. We have to be clear. Like, clarity is so keen. And the reason why it's important is because when you get clear, guess what? Your brain, your intelligence will do the 
the rest of the work for you. This is what we call we get in flow, right? You, you get in flow. It's just it comes out when you're clear about what you want to do. You don't have to think about it anymore. And um, so it's time to call a cab now with this quarantine because we need to get clear about some things. So where can this be done? Right now it's being done on Facebook Live. So I want you guys to get a pencil and paper, uh, get your phones out. Uh, you can, this is an interactive approach. I uh, have my assistant here. She's going to be kind of commenting. Like, so as I'm asking you guys questions, she's going to tell me what you guys are saying, because I do want this to be kind of an interactive type of exercise so you can understand it. So one thing about this learning model of acronyms is that we can hear stuff, but we have to make it organic to who we are and how we understand. And so a big part of me writing on the board and having this live session, which I'm recording, is so that you can interact and so you can have it. So get you a pencil, get your piece of paper, get the back of the envelope, get you a notebook, get a piece of paper that's sitting right there next to you and just, just kind of write this diagram down. So whenever you feel stuck, you can say, oh, you know, it's time for me to call a cab. Uh, so it can take me to where I'm going, where I need to go. All right. And <clears throat> how is this done? So everybody got this. So I'm going to write it up here. Uh, cab. C-A-B. And the first thing is clarity. So that's the cab. So I'm going to erase this. And we need to get clear about what? We need to get clear about our A. And we need to get clear about our B. And we call our A where we're at. And we call our B where we want to be. For me, uh, sometimes I interchange them. I can say our at is our, our E E L and then our B is our, our E A L, which is where we're at. We're kind of thinking and where we really want to be. But today is just going to be simple where we're at and where we want to be. And let's get clarity about that. So right now. Oh, so the discovery stage. So let me talk to you about why we're doing this. I'm going to write this down. I want you to tell me if you know what this is. So I'm going to write this. Let me see. Anybody knows what this sign is? If you know what the sign is, just kind of post it in the chat. Let me write it a little better. Let me write that a little better. Any, If you know what this sign is, put it in the chat box. What is that? What is that sign called? Anybody? You read in the comments. So what is they saying? Just tell me what it is. You tell me what it is. What is this? You tell me. The infinity sign. Okay. So this is called the infinity sign. So you're going to be my interactive person then. Hey. Hey, Tana. So you're going to be my interactive person. Oh, so this is called the infinity sign. I'm right. Interactive. All right. So... This is called the infinity sign. So about the brain, how it is done, it's done in a four-step process. I have a, in my PhD program, I break down things in four steps and we have our discovery stage. So I want to kind of explain <clears throat> how the brain works. This infinity sign means what, Miss Mariah? That it goes around and comes back around. So it goes over and over and over again, right? And the way the brain works is similar to that. It's a pattern. And it's going to keep repeating itself over and over and over and over again. And it repeats itself so much that we end up calling that repetition of behaviors. What, Miss Mariah? What do we call it, Miss Mariah? Habits. <laughs> we call it habits, right? So we create these habits from this pattern of behaviors. And what we have in our brain is called a reticular activation system. In that reticular activation system, the reason why it's important to understand that we live in an infinity loop in our where we're at and where we want to be and why we need clarity is because that reticular activation system is like your thermostat. It's your emotional thermostat for your thoughts, for your emotions so if you think about a thermostat think about if i set my thermostat on 70 in my house then when it gets colder 
the heat is going to kick on and get it back to 70. And when it gets hotter, the air is going to kick on to kick it back to 70, right? And so we all have these habits or this reticular activation system or this, where's my resin? Or this place where we're at that keeps repeating itself over and over again. And that's because your reticular activation system is like a beacon and it's just like boop and it's looking for whatever that place you're at. So if you're in fear, then your reticular activation system is looking for that. Right. So this is why mindset is important in understanding what your mindset is, because if you don't understand where you're at, you're going to keep repeating this pattern of behavior. So let's talk about this. This um, where we're at. So we're in a time of quarantine. Right. How do we spell quarantine? Q U A N A T I N E. Is that how we spell it? No. Huh? Q U A R A N. Q U A R A N T. And what does that bring up for us emotionally? Because our emotions is a, is a. If you think about your emotions, think about your emotions as a beacon. Think about it like a radio station. And if I'm tuned into 107.1 emotionally, then I'm going to get the type of thoughts or a type of music that streams across 107.1. So if 107.1 was fear and that's where I'm at, then I'm going to have more fearful thoughts because my thoughts are not mine. They are drawn to me by this emotion, which is kind of like energy emotion and it's pulling that right if i'm on 93.7 in my emotions which is more of joy or love then i'm sending my reticular activation system or this infinity loop out to look for thoughts that are more in line with love y'all understand that okay i'm keep going in if my if my if it's a uh, blurring just let It'll, it'll subside. So quarantine, what kind of emotions is that bringing up for us? Anybody? Just put it in the comments and I'm going to start writing them down. You can start, Miss Mariah. Frustration. Frustration. Debt. Or income. Let's just say income. Constraints. Income problems. Um, anything else? Um, stress, worry, um, death, health issues. Is that how you spell death? D A D E A T H. Um, health concerns. Um, some of us is kicking in our faith, a stronger faith. Um, what else is this where we're at with this quarantine thing? Hello, Raymond. Hello, Tanya. Toya. What else? What else is this quarantine kicking in for us? Anything? You tell me. She's gonna keep going, keep going. Do you say something? What? What is it kicking up for you? I said my <laughs> frustration. Just frustration. Um, I think um, uh, unclarity, right? A lack of clarity about when this is gonna end, right? Right. So if this is the station that we're on, right? If this is the place where we're at and based on this whole reticular activation system what do you think you're going to see on your facebook feeds or what do you think your mind is going to be thinking about and thoughts it's going to be some kind of fragrance from these areas right 
And when we have fragrances of fear, right, and that fear is triggering these type of feelings, then the type of behaviors that's going to manifest from that is we're going to get more stressed out. We're going to feel more overwhelmed. We're going to feel um, more distrustful of people. You know, all the things that really come with fear, you know, we, we're, we're going to start to embody that. And just how this um, and just how this uh, this pandemic is spreading, emotions spread like that too, right? Like emotions are just as contagious. So if you're carrying these type of emotions, if you're carrying these type of worries, these type of concerns, then you're affecting your household, whether you know it or not. You ever walk into a room or walk into a hospital and you just can feel like this type of exchange, this type of dormant energy, this type of lower type of vibes, and you like something's going on, right? Because your intelligence is picking up on the unsaid. So as leaders in our families, as leaders, as parents, you know, as responsible people in our household, then calling the cab is really important for you because you gotta be clear about how this fragrance, and I, I say fragrance a lot because it's an aroma, how that aroma is being af affecting your kids, you know, affecting your mate, affecting a lot of things that you do and a lot of interactions that you're having. And so it's important to know where you're at. And it's important to know that if I stay here, then this is going to get heavier this stress, this overwhelm, this frustration, this feeling of being stuck is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and ultimately affect my health, safety, and well-being, right? And I'm really drawing this, these things in, the, the virus, the emotions around the virus, the weight of the emotions around the virus. I'm actually doing the exact opposite of what I want to be doing. So let's talk about B. Okay, so B would be where you want to be, where you want to be in this situation. Same, spell same for me. S A N E. I want to be same, stay same. I want to be better off. I want to be better after this thing than I was going in. So I want to be better, a better person, a better mother. So I'm going to put, I want to be better. So I got time to sit at home. I'm off work. I get time to really assess my family. I get time to really look at my finances. I get time to really look at a lot of the things that's going on. So I want to be better off after the situation. Um, I want to have more clarity. I want to have more clarity and direction after this. You know, this thing just kind of hit me out the blue. Wasn't expecting it right in the midst of uh, I was going to start a business or I was going to quit my job or some big transition was going to happen in my life. And now I'm just like, oh, wow, what's going to happen? So I want to get some clarity and some direction. That's where I want to be. I want to be clear about with this time that I'm sitting at home watching, binging on Netflix, uh, yeah, cooking every day, you know, eating snacks up. My new my new normal is three to three, uh, yeah, time frame wise. So I want to be, I want to have clarity about what I want to do after this. So when this cloud passes by, who am I? What do I want to be? And what I want to be doing with my time, my talent, and my treasure. Right. Anything else? What do you want to be after this? Working. I want to be working. Right. I want to be positioned. I want this situation to position me to be able to do the things that I want to do. So when you're writing your sheet down, it may not look like this. It may look very different. So when you write clarity at the top of your sheet and then you do where am I at? 
you're gonna write where you at the quarantine now if you was doing this for business if you could do be doing this for your family if we're doing this for your relationship where are you at now list all your emotions all your thoughts just kind of like dump them and then say where do i want to be right and so that's that's the framework that you're going to use and we just did that so this is the strategy that you're going to use to really get clear about what i am now when we go to implement this and that's the third level so we talked about how this cab looks how calling the cab looks but when we go to implement this when you actually go to write down clarity and you actually write now your a side and you actually write down your b side yeah what's gonna happen yeah what's gonna happen your fragrance gonna come up this little smell of doubt questioning and this is where it's really time for us to be honest right if nothing else out of this situation if you haven't been able to be honest with yourself in a long time if you haven't been able to be honest and if that's something difficult for you and in honesty it's not your fault it's just this kind of pivot that we do like we can see the truth and then we'll like pivot like wait hold on that can't be it right because we don't really want to accept it so the only way this framework is going to really work for you is if you understand that when you start to do this you're going to realize what station you're on you're going to realize if i'm on station fear or if i'm on station love right if i'm on station worry or if i'm on station doubt or i'm on station indecision like all of that's going to come up when you implement it strategy is the blueprint okay clarity a at b now when i start writing this thing it's gonna be do i really feel though fear though this is gonna come up in your mind like all these questions to get you from writing down your truth right it's gonna be this type of thing that happens and that's your reticular activation system and that's why it's important to know that right now if you want fear want to keep you there it don't want you to change that and this is why they say truth is so powerful because it literally shatters that 70 degrees. It like takes it and it blows it out the water and it gives you courage, right? It gives you the motivation to get the courage to write down where you're at. And again, I'm doing this for the quarantine, but you guys can be doing this for your life. You can, this right here where it can be relationship and you can be writing down all this stuff and then you start feeling all this but is it just me? This ain't the time to do that. This is your bucket list. This is just you calling the cab and saying, hey, you know what? I'm at 1809 Duran and I need, and when you get in that cab and they like, I need to go to, you know, Highland Street or I need to go to Kessels or I need to go to Kroger. Like you're not thinking about, you know, you got to get the groceries, but you're trying to get from A to B. You know what I mean? And so A is where you're at. And B is where you're trying to go. <clears throat> All right. And when we implement this, understand that these fragrances are going to come up for you. Are these what we call limiting beliefs? It's going to stop you. So just be clear about that when you're writing A. B is always easy because it's the real. The R E E L is your idea. And we were built to imagine. So we can build B. So good. Oh, I want to be financially stable. I want to have a loving relationship. I want to do all these things. And you can freely do that. So B tends to fill up pretty fast. But when we got to talk about where we're at, that's where our emotions happen. And that's where this trigger happens. And that's what affects our ability to what we call execute, which is four, which is our fourth stage. So once we discover that we have this reticular activation system, this brain or this thermometer inside of us that's keeping us where we're at because life is built on that infinity loop, right? And so we create habits. That's how we were created to do a thing over and over again until we don't have to think about doing it anymore. And some of our fears and some of our beliefs will just, we have done them over and over and over again and we played that story out as victim over and over and over again or we you know said we're stuck so many times over and over and over again that it's just a habit now that when you get there it's just 
oh, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. And we, whatever that decision that you made at the end of that emotion becomes a habit. So you tend to not move forward. So this is what stops us from attaining our goals. This is what stops us from moving forward. This is what stops us from doing something different because we're comfortable, even in our uncomfortableness, right? And so when we're thinking about when we're thinking about where we're at and where we want to be, the only way we're going to be able to execute is to understand what happens when we start to cross that bridge. So when you start to implement and those emotions come up and you get teary eyed and you want to cry or, you know, just stuff get real, like you start smelling it, like you start smelling your life, understand that you're only meeting yourself. You only meeting your own doubts and your own and your own disbeliefs along the way. And so as a in terms of this quarantine, yes, stay at home, stay safe, you know, stay safe and stay at home. We have our mask here, we wear our mask, I wear my mask. Um, we sanitize, we do all those things because that's where I want to be. Because here's the last thing in execution. Either you're running from A or you're running towards B. You can't do both. Let me say that again. Either you're running from A or you're running towards B. But you can't do both. What does that mean, Sheila? What that means is that you ever heard that saying where your attention goes, your energy flows. So a big part of my life, I was running from where I had where I was at. Right. Uh, Growing up in a in a. impoverished neighborhood didn't have you know the the food the resources things like that and i was running from that right not realizing that that's where my attention is though i'm focused on this and because i'm focused on this i can never really break this thing and become that in which i really wanted because it kept pulling me back to seeing those doubts fears and indecisions So in this quarantine, if you have fear about, oh, I don't want nobody to come over my house. I'm going to close all my doors, right? And that's what you're thinking about. Guess what you're going to hear at your door? Girl, I just came over. I couldn't stay in this house, right? And you're like, now why would this person come over to this house knowing we in quarantine? You see what I'm saying? Because it's going to show up for you because that's what you're telling your brain to focus on. You're telling your brain to focus on reasons to stress me out. You know, even though you think you're running from it, even though you think you're preparing for it, you're not. You're actually just telling your brain exactly what you want. Because here's the other thing about the brain. It doesn't have a, oh, you don't want this. It doesn't understand like negatives and positives. Like, for example, people always say what they don't want. This is where I'm at. I don't want a person who don't love me. I don't want to catch this virus. I don't want to get sick. I don't want to do that. But your brain doesn't hear, don't want. It just hears sickness. It just it just feels the emotion or the fear of sickness, right? It's just tuned into, oh, you scared. Scared of sickness. So I'm going to bring reasons for you to be more scared. I'm going to bring you more reasons to be isolated, right? So either you're running from A or you're running towards B. A lot of times we're not running towards B because we're not clear about what that B is. And so it'll take a minute. You know, it's going to take a minute. But this whole exercise will help you to be aware, more aware of am I running from A or am I running towards B? And that shift can happen just like that. Just the awareness of, girl, you being fearful. And I'm going to tell you this, uh. You know, the Bible say that God created us in love, power, and a sound mind. Love, power, 
in the sound mind. I don't know about you, but that's where I want to be. I want to be in love. I want to be able to exert my power or live in my power, experience my power, or and keep a sound mind. And so that's always a part of my be, right? And so I'm not running from this pandemic. On my B side, I want to be healthy. So because I want to be healthy, I'm going to use my hand sanitizer. I'm going to wear my gloves. You know, I'm going to keep my distance. You know what I mean? I'm going to go home and I'm going to boil some water and I'm going to smell the steam. You know, if I'm out and about and I'm going to smell that steam for about 10 minutes so that it can break up the, you know, if I did get in contact with it. You know what I mean? I'm going to sanitize my house out, not because I'm fearful of not catching the disease, but because I want to be healthy and I'm aware that this is going on, you know, so that's a whole different mindset and looking at it. You know, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, just post them in the post. Probably come back like every Monday to really after you call a cab, what do you do? You know, after you're clear about where you're at. And then you find out where you want to be and you get stuck again because you're like, well, I want to be here, but I don't know how to get there. That's fine. That's OK, because now that becomes your new blueprint. And then that has to then unveil itself. And then we have to discover what those different things look like. And then we have to build a strategy around how to get it, implement that, which is really a testing stage, and then find out what we can do to execute on that. Right. But just remember that you was created in love, power and sound mind. You know, and you can't run from you can't be running from A and running towards B. You you only doing one at a time because that's just how how the brain works. So reset your tune. If this not for you, share it to somebody who you might feel like is high stressed or, you know, it's really just to kind of give you a mindset. It's not the cure for the disease. I mean, we got to use, you know. You just got to use healthy tactics but how we think about it you know sometimes i could find myself at home you know i got three boys and you know and get worried and it's just like no 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 we're not gonna worry about that what do you want to be i want my boys to be healthy okay let's get the lights saw let's spray and i'm doing that from a more empowering type of situation or a more proactive approach than reacting to this this illness or this pandemic that's happening so uh again my name is she little you know share this if you think it was good for you if you think it'll help anybody uh yeah follow me at i am shaping solutions on instagram on facebook and on youtube for more of these type of videos uh just getting used to kind of getting back online but i guess i'm gonna do this more because i think that mindset is important and it's how we think about things the bible also says that as a man think of so he is and sometimes we're not even clear about the thoughts that we have about different things sometimes we're not even clear that we're in fear and then we don't give ourselves permission to oh it's okay right forgive that okay that's where you at you know and let's move forward so thank you guys for doing this i just want to sing this song Board in the house that I'm in the house board. Board in the house that I'm in the house board. Board in the house that I'm in the house board. That I'm bored in the house that I'm in the house board. Board in the house board in the house board. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day.